North Wales Flag are currently working with commercial fishermen from across the region to improve sustainability of crab and lobster stocks in the area. The focus is on recreational fishermen or hobby potters who are registered under the Welsh Government scheme, enabling them to fish with up to five pots at any one time. The commercial fishermen have identified potential issues in the way that hobby fishermen use their pots, in that they are not always fully aware of the impact that certain activities can have on crab and lobster stocks. This project aims to work with both commercial fishermen and hobby potters to alleviate that issue. Now this is a power pot, so <clears throat> she'll work her way up to here, she'll come through the gap here, and then she'll be in here, which is what we class as the power. Once she's in there, she's totally stuck. Now that's fine if it's a lobster of size, but if it's undersize, the chances are she's going to get beaten up in there by larger lobsters, larger crabs. These, which are escape gaps. Now this gap here will allow any lobster under the size of 90 millimeter to escape. Now you can put them in the doors, you can put them in the sides here, or you can put them there. Cut there, cut there, now that's your start. You don't want to cut too many meshes. The hole can be too small because these can be taken back. Don't do them home straight away. Keep them fairly slack because you don't need to work out <coughs> the tensionings on it. As I always put one large one or two large ones because then when these eat away, what you can do, th these ones will stay in place. So, there you go. Three minutes enough. Vastly reduces those fish. Um, all my pots have them in and you'll still catch the prawns.